Hey guys, Snowman back here with you again. Uh, giving you guys an update on stuff that I'm working on. Uh, the Superbird is done. I'll show you guys a nice close-up picture of that in its frame uh, in just a minute, or at the end of the video anyways. But what I wanted to show you was working on the Damask uh, Songbird silhouette. Now I finally figured out what that meant. Um, on top of this pattern, once I'm done cutting out the internal pattern, the frame, and the taper cut to, uh, so that the, uh, picture sits into the frame a little bit, um, there's going to be a silhouette of a songbird on a branch that's going to be cut out of a different material and glued on top of this pattern so that you have a, a uh, 3D image. And, uh, just wanted to do some scrolling for you guys. Um, if the noise gets too bad, I'll probably just put some music over it and all that, but anyways, back to scrolling. Oops, kick the camera, kick the camera, shit, the camera's still looking at the picture, yes it is, so... Now the blade that I'm using for this pattern is a uh, Pegasus uh, 3R skip tooth. Uh, it has great uh, clearancing for to uh, with the skip tooth design. Clears the chips very well and is still aggressive enough to go through half an inch of hard maple. So now the reason I'm backing the blade back through the pattern is I want to put a nice point on these uh, tips on this piece of the pattern. So I'm actually backing up to a point where I can cut a new line in and get to that tip with a nice sharp point. There we go. Nice sharp point and continue on with the pattern. So I'll keep cutting away on this pattern and uh, probably speed the whole process up to let you see what's going on. Search for something new But what does it matter When all the roads I've crossed Always seem to lead back to you Old familiar faces Everyone you meet Following the ways of the land Cobblestones and lanterns Lighting street If you're careful, you can go back in with the blade and kind of shave away where you oops now. Unfortunately, the cuts on each side are not going to match perfectly, but there's going to be a uh, silhouette of a bird on a branch over most of that, so you won't really see it anyways. i 
Okay, so I'm working on the taper cut for the uh, self-framing picture, and I have, it's kind of hard to see, but I have the table set at 4 degrees, which is the uh, angle for the taper cut so that it uh, locks into the frame, uh, and I'm in the process of cutting that now, so it's not that easy to cut on an uneven table surface, but since it's such a mild angle, it's not as bad, um, so anyways, uh, you know, you're hearing the fan noise in the background, but <sighs> Almost there, guys. Once I get this taper cut done, I will uh, cut out the actual frame itself and then take it over to the router table and do the run over. All right. Okay, taper cut is done. Nice little four degree angle on the bevel. And let's see. Throw the pieces together and voila. You now have a nice inset picture into the frame that still needs to be cut out, but you know, no problems there. But um, listen, my father and I decided not to go with the bird uh, silhouette that would go over the pattern here. We're just going to put a backer on the pattern so you can see a color through it, probably like a light blue or, or something to go with the light colored wood. And pretty much that's it. So um, I'll get the frame cut out and head out to the router table and get that done. And the project, she is almost done. Yes? Yes. Okay, so got the frame cut out. Now everything is nice and inset. And you can see on the back side how much that, that pushes the... Uh, picture into the frame doing that four degree taper cut so like I said we're going to um, I'll be backing the pattern uh, with a, a light color and uh, the inside edge of the frame and the outside edge of the frame will get a quarter inch round over on the uh, router table so I'll get that done get everything cleared up and uh, coated and all that happy stuff and that will be everything now I promised you guys in this video that I'd show you the uh, Superbird and um, do that as part of the video Unfortunately, all I have is a picture that I took with my cell phone uh, camera, so uh, we ended up selling the poster and in my laziness uh, sold it before I could take video of it, so no big deal there. Um, so I'll show you guys the picture of the uh, original pattern and then the finished product. Okay, router work is done, and a couple of burnt spots where <laughs> router pick was a little dull, <laughs> but and that right, that little hole right there is the, uh, over on the right hand side is the entry hole to do the taper cut for this piece, but other than that, all set, just needs to be, have the backer put on it, have it cleared, and it's good to go.